Welcome back. While inflation and trade have dominated conversations here on CNBC around the election, there is another major issue that's a serious concern for many business owners. Less than a week away from Election Day, let's get to Emily Wilkins with more from the battleground state of Arizona. Emily. Hey, Leslie. Well, immigration and border security, you know, they're hot button issues this election. But there is a real concern among businesses, especially construction and hospitality companies here in Arizona, who are facing a shortage of workers. And they're worried that it could get much worse. Monica Villalobos, the president and CEO of the Arizona Hispanic Chamber of Commerce. We have several members that are in the construction industry that aren't able to find workers to complete projects. And when they can't complete projects, that means there is a lack of housing. Immigration is also a major issue in the competitive Senate race in Arizona between Democratic Congressman Ruben Gallego and former news anchor Carrie Lake. Now, both have called for stricter border security, but Gallego has also backed a bipartisan bill that would have expanded work permits for more than 125,000 immigrants. And Lake said while she supports legal immigration, she said that Americans are being denied jobs because of a lack of training in schools. However, John Graham, the CEO the of Sunbelt. The issue is that these people are not taking somebody else's job. They're jobs that we absolutely have to have, and there is not a substitute uh, for that if, if there was some kind of uh, significant loss of, of labor. Uh, so it would be, uh, you know, again, uh, use the word catastrophic. That was John Graham. He, that was John Graham. He is the CEO of Sunbelt Holdings. And he's saying there, you know, it's already tough enough for businesses to find the workers that they need. The state has a, a little less than 200,000 job openings in June. Graham and others told me that they are worried about a ballot measure that, if passed, would allow local and state police to arrest and deport those illegally in the country. A similar measure in 2010 led to businesses boycotting the state. And guys, there are concerns that if that measure passes, you could see another boycott. Emily, can you help uh, explain to us kind of the, the economic backdrop of Arizona in particular? They're expanding into manufacturing, so presumably those the workers that they're looking for would be those types of jobs. Is that right? Exactly. I mean, it's construction, it's manufacturing, it's hospitality, it's agriculture, of course. And, you know, we were talking with John Graham. He was constructing a brand new hotel in downtown, and he's one of the folks who's worried that if you see some more strict standards come in, he's not going to be able to get the workers he needs to really build that up. Big implications uh, for not just uh, construction, manufacturing, uh, hospitality, but GDP at large. Emily, uh, big weeks coming up. Uh, great piece. Emily Wilkins joining us on Immigration.